Is it true that Poland is a poor, underdeveloped country where everyone is super Catholic and basically drinks vodka for breakfast? As a Polish person who grew up abroad, I heard many assumptions about Poland throughout my life. I just think that Poland is not necessarily like a popular kid on the block. Some of them pretty accurate and some completely wrong. LGBT community, majority of people are Catholic. Poland is a poor and underdeveloped country. Polish people don't speak English very well. So I decided to take a stroll around Warsaw and discuss and give you my personal opinion, keep that in mind, this is my personal opinion, on some of the most common assumptions people tend to have about Poland. I'm definitely not gonna read comments <laughs> under this video because I feel like a lot of people are gonna hate on me, but yeah, what else? Also, I wanna say that majority of my audience are people from outside of Europe. A lot of you guys are from Asia or US, Australia. So in my mind, I'm sort of speaking to people that don't know much about Poland. Um, yeah, so if, if there are any Polish people watching, just keep that in mind. All Polish people love drinking vodka. That is not entirely true. For example, I prefer drinking tequila and I am Polish, so not true. Misconception. Is there a culture of drinking vodka in Poland? Yes, definitely. Is there a lot of vodka in Polish supermarkets? Yes, there is a lot of vodka in Polish supermarkets. As you can see, there is definitely a lot to choose from. Actually, for a Polish supermarket, that's not even that much. Do people drink it a lot? I mean, I feel like Polish people are not casual drinkers, you know what I mean? Like, we're not gonna have vodka for breakfast, we're not gonna have vodka with every meal, but once we drink, then I think people can drink a lot. Like, people can consume a lot of al alcohol, but it doesn't mean that they necessarily consume it, like, often. For example, I think there are other European countries like Germany, Denmark, where I grew up, France, where people drink more often maybe they don't drink as much but they you know drink like a couple of glasses of wine every single day and i feel like that's in general not the norm in poland also when you actually look up alcohol consumptions in different countries in europe poland is not like one of the countries that has the highest alcohol consumption poland is a very religious country well, yes, that's kind of true. Poland is a country where a majority of people are Catholic. Are majority of people religious? Well, probably yes. But of course, that doesn't mean that everyone is religious. I think what happens is in Poland is what happens in many other countries out there, uh, is that less and less people are religious. So someone told me that while he visited Poland, he made a joke about God and that didn't sit well with many people in the room. And that person was, I guess, a foreigner. Um, you know, that really depends on your environment. If you would make a joke about God in my friend group, no one would be offended because in my friend group, obviously, majority of people have the same values as I do. That's why we're friends, right? We share the same values. Religion is a topic that makes a lot of people in Poland angry at the moment. I'm not gonna get into it in this video, but look it up if you're interested what happened in Poland in 2020. <sighs> Basically, long story short, there are some people in Poland who believe that politics and religion should be combined. But obviously, that made a lot of people people very angry, including myself. Um, yeah, and those people, what those people actually did is that they turned a lot of people against religion, at least religion in a traditional way, religion as institution. What are they protesting about? Absolutely no idea. One thing you must know about Poland is that people here love to protest which is not a bad thing at all. Quick stop from production. I think I'm gonna go to this bakery or bakery. I don't know if it's a bakery, but it looks really good. Okay, I'm gonna go in and see because look how nice it looks. Okay, it is really, really nice. I don't wanna carry it now, but I might come back here and get something for later because I have friends coming over today. You know, I just think that Poland is not necessarily like a popular kid on the block. And I don't mean it in a wrong way. What I mean is that I think a lot of people outside of Europe have basically no idea of what Poland actually is. You know, there are those countries like, for example, France or Italy, like those are the popular kids. Like everyone knows stuff about France and Italy. Poland is a poor and underdeveloped country. An easy answer to this question would probably be no, but I did some proper research and Poland is classified as high income economy by the World Bank and ranks 22nd in the worldwide terms of GDP. And 
since 2018, Poland became qualified, officially qualified to be considered a developed country. Poland is also the sixth largest economy in European Union and the largest in Central Europe. Of course, discussing countries' wealth, it's a difficult topic. Um, I do understand where the misconception might come from that in general Poland is not a very wealthy country and yes if you compare Poland to our neighbors to other European countries in the West then yes definitely Poland is not as wealthy as a country as Germany, France, Scandinavian countries, UK. Pay gap, the differences in salaries here in Poland compared to Western European countries is still quite large, unfortunately. The reason why a lot of people might have this misconception of Poland being a very like underdeveloped country is because, well, Poland was in a way an underdeveloped poor country after the war. Basically, the war left Poland completely destroyed. Of course, the war destroyed many other European countries, not only Poland, but the difference with some other countries and Poland is that after the war, Poland became a communist country. And that's why for decades and decades after the war, Poland didn't develop as fast as our Western neighbors. However, I will put some stats on the screen now that basically show you um, how much the economy is really growing and developing here. Basically, Poland is a country where a lot is changing. Prices are changing drastically. You know, I always kind of get annoyed when people are like, oh, you live in Poland, it's cheap. Well, it's cheap if you're a tourist visiting from the West, then yeah, Poland is gonna be cheap for you. But it's not like it's cheap for us here, right? So I never really understand that comment. It's like, yeah, it's cheap to visit Poland, but it's not like cheap to live here for us people who just like earn Polish salaries, right? Poland is not a very tolerant country. <sighs> I wish I could say it's wrong, but to be honest, it's not, it's not. Poland still has a long way to go when it comes to LGBT community, when it comes to tolerating different skin colors or different nations. In general, Poland is a country where we didn't have many foreigners uh, back in the days. Nowadays, that's changing. There are more and more foreigners here, but I'm not gonna bullshit you. If you are a foreigner, especially of different religious background, or if you are a person of color, life in Poland is probably... I don't want to say it's not gonna be easy, but you will definitely experience difficulties. That's that's just reality. Like, what can I say? I'm not gonna, you know. You know, if you come to Warsaw, a lot of people are very open-minded here and things are changing. I, I don't want to be super negative, but as a Polish person, I can just say that I hope that with time, we will become more open-minded and more tolerant. I know what it is like to be a minority because I grew up in Denmark as a Polish Polish person meaning I was the foreigner, I was the minority and I know how difficult it can be when people bully you, make fun of you, discriminate you. Um, yeah, basically. I just hope that this is something that will change in Poland. I do believe that many young people have really good intentions and are trying to change things, uh, but of course that will take time. Props like literally the worst freaking place to film. Like the loudest place in all of Warsaw. Okay, I should film that or go. Polish people don't speak English very well. I think this is more of a misconception. People that are like under 35, I would say, speak English pretty well. English is a mandatory language taught in Poland since first grade. Um, so I would say in general, young generations do speak English pretty well, uh, but older generations, yes, that's definitely true. Older generations might not speak uh, English, even like my parents' generation, they didn't have English at school, and that's why many older Polish people might not know how to speak English very well. However, I think the biggest issue with English in Poland, even with young people, is not the fact that people don't know how to speak English, it's the fact that people are often ashamed of speaking English. And 
the education is to blame here in Polish schools I feel like they taught a lot of grammar they really focus on like writing and being like grammatically correct instead of teaching people to speak and as a result of that many Polish people even young people nowadays they're afraid to speak English so they might have the vocabulary but speaking is challenging for them because that's simply not something they emphasize enough in Polish schools it's always cold in Poland that is not true a lot of people seem to think that Poland is like a very cold country first of all Poland is a pretty big country and the temperature can be pretty different depending if you're in the north or south summer is pretty hot it can easily get up to 30 Celsius degrees and then winters I mean there are cold there the average temperature would be around zero but it's definitely not like minus 20 uh, sometimes we don't even get snow here this year we actually did have some snow in Warsaw but maybe like in total for like I don't know 10 days at max so it's definitely not as cold here as in like I don't know for example Canada where it gets like minus 25 and it stays like that for six months okay maybe not six months but you know what I mean okay now I've been basically walking all around the city talking about very serious topics so it is time to hit um, and get some groceries this is my favorite mirror where I like to film myself every time I pass by basically as I told you we're hitting Biedonka let me know in the comments if you agree with me or if you disagree I know I said I won't be reading the comments but let's be honest I probably will YouTube comments can be quite entertaining also let me know if there are any other topics about Poland that you would like me to discuss in any future videos and did I already tell you to subscribe yeah if I didn't, please subscribe and peace out. I see you soon.